Carpet number one, it is Father's Day, so turnout's not as good. But let's just go and try and find some stuff. Can I walk across? Can I? Yeah. I'm just trying. I'm trying to reach this one. Right, cupboard number one is done and found like five or six pieces, nothing major. A couple of North Face bits, which are quite good. Um, and some ice skates, which I just had to buy for no apparent reason, but they look cool. But now we're gonna go on to cupboard number two and hopefully get some stuff from there. Right, cupboard number two. Um, again, turnout's not as good because it is Father's Day and it's about to, it's gonna rain at like 11ish, I think, 10 or 11. But it should be a decent one. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the growth. And of course, follow my Depot and Instagram. It'll be down here, Ryan's Finds, R-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. And we're gonna shoot off to carbon number three now, just before it rains, hopefully. Carbon number three is done, and I found nothing apart from a Nautica tee, which had a few holes at the bottom, so it didn't really bother. It was 50p, but it's just a pain with the holes. So what I'll do, I'll add in a day out where I went cherry shopping to only one town but it wasn't long enough for a video or a post on Instagram so I'll just add that in next. Right the weather's been really bad this week it's been raining and it's just been gloomy all week and then on the days with car boots it's decided to rain so it's been non-existent for car boots at the moment so I decided to go to a town of cherry shops and hopefully see what that's like but yeah I'll probably only do this town so I'll add it on to either a day of car booting or a day out cherry shopping or just another video but yeah let's see what we can find
Right, just finished the first town. Probably only gonna do one town today, but I'll just add this clip onto another video of me going trade shopping or maybe a car boot day. But yeah, it was decent. The first trade shop had the big glass shelf and it was just full of just high end. Had Burberry shoes, Fendi shoes, Christian Dior ones, which were monogram, and Gucci ones, which were also monogram, which was really sick, but everything was like 100 plus. I think the Fendi ones were 60. Actually, the Gucci ones were 60 as well, but they're just a bit grim and the size was not that good. It was size four and a half, which is quite a hard sell and just a bit of an investment at the moment. But yeah, still a really good day. Only got a couple of bits from this one town. I'll probably just add the bits into uh, the Instagram picture that I'm gonna put for whatever video this is gonna be. I'll show you everything that I found in the next clip. So we are back and yeah, it was a decent day. It was, um, the car boots weren't as good as usual. I think the third one we found absolutely nothing. And then it was a little bit slow in the first one, but still found a decent amount. And then went to the chat shops as well and found a couple of bits there to add to the haul, I suppose you can call it. But we'll just get straight into it and go into all the teas that I found. First, well, it's not really a tea, but it is a turtle neck Polo Ralph Lauren. I think I paid, I think it does have a price on it actually. I paid a fiver on it at the car boot which is fair, like it's a bit faded, a bit, got a bit of wobbling, but I'll probably get like 20, 25 on that one. Next we've got a vintage tee, this is a single stitch. I'm not sure really what this means, but I think it's like you be where, and then it's like I be here. So like you're here, it's a tourist tee for the Dominican Republic. I think it just points to it there, but really cool tee. It's got some like holes in it, quite like, I suppose you can call it distressed. But it's a good size as well, so I think I might keep that one for myself. Next, we've got this early 2000s Screen Stars Superman tee. You can see it's got like the that Screen Stars tag there, and then the Warner Bros have just put another tag completely on top of it. It is dated on the print as well, I think, 1999. But I paid a pound on that, and probably get like 10, 15 on that, maybe a little bit more. Then we got probably my favorite item of the day. One of my favorite items, another one's down there. It is this Stone Island Polo. You should be able to see it, there it is. I got it for a pound. Literally the lady like asked me, oh, is it a branded one? I do the usual, you just hold it up like that. It's like, how much is the Polo? You don't show any of the branding. And I got it for a pound. And it is from 2004 spring summer collection. So what's that, 15 years old and it's, flawless i'm pretty sure there's no marks or holes or anything i think i'll be able to sell this one for anywhere from 30 35 to maybe 40 45 around there i'm not too sure on my stone island prices that's one thing that i want to start getting into and just knowing more about other brands and what they go for but definitely it's still a bargain one pound and probably going to get 30 30 to 40 pounds on that one the last item that i found is this reebok golf t-shirt nice striped one i literally got it because i've never seen this tag before it's like some 90s early 2000s one and then it's just got a small bit of branding on the arm just nice embroidered reebok on there if you can see that but just thought it was a really clean piece striped tees do actually do quite well like unbranded ones i've sold like three or four over the past maybe two two three months if i can find them i will pick them up but they have to be like a decent quality and nice colorway but just thought it was a nice piece I mean I did pay up on this I paid a fiver and I'll probably only get like 10 to 15 on it but I just thought it was a really nice clean piece basically but next we'll get into the shoes and accessories first we just found these Air Force Ones they have got a missing insole on both of them which is a bit annoying but I did pay three pound on them and you probably get them for like you probably sell them for like anywhere from 20 to 30 but my brother wants these so I'm just gonna give them to him don't have to give him a birthday present then. And then next we've got this dead stock with tags, L, I think that's how you pronounce it. Like purse, wallet, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what it is, but very Y2K, girls like this sort of stuff. And then the final shoe of the day, I suppose you can call it, are these Nike ice skates. Again, I'm a hoarder and they're just a really cool like um, display piece I paid. I think it says in the video, I think it was two pounds. It was one or two pounds. And they're just really cool. 
big swoosh there, another one there, on the front tongue, I'm not sure where else, oh yeah, on the back, but just really cool. I'm not sure what that says on there, how you pronounce them, but I think it does actually say the date as well. Yeah, 98, so they're really old. From 1998, these Nike ice skates, I just thought they were sick. And I'm just gonna have them on display in my room and I'll probably take them to like pop-ups and things like that. Just another cool, random, pointless piece that I've picked up. Now we've got all the outerwear that I found. First, we found these North Face Salopets, I think they're called, aren't they? Or waterproof trousers, Gore-Tex. But I paid a fiver on them and I don't know what they go for. Probably, probably get 20 to 30, maybe 40 on them. I'd say 25 is fair. I think they've got a couple of like bits wrong with them. I think they've got a couple of holes maybe somewhere. I'm not too sure. Then we've got the kids Nike sweatshirt. I think it's a 90s one. It's on one of the black tags, but really cool. I've had this in an adult size before, but I paid two pound on that and that's just gonna go in the kids collection. That's another like piece that I can take to pop-ups and just have it on display. Then we've got this feeler quarter zip, it's like fleece lines, quarter zip pullover. Paid three pound on that and probably get around 20 on that, I'd say, 20 to 30. Probably more for the winter and colder months. Then we got the last two items, which is probably, probably a good come up as well from today. Got this North Face jacket, I think it's size medium, paid a five or four. And then I got this with it as well. It was zipped inside of this one. So basically paid two pound 50 for each one. This one is, I'm not sure what number puffer this is, if it does have one on it. Oh yeah, it's 550. Just nice, like khaki green puffer. So that's two pound 50, you probably get, I'm not sure what these go for in the winter months, because it's not the proper 700 ones, but probably get around 40 to maybe 60 on that one. And then this one, probably the same, really nice jacket, pretty much flawless. I think it's got a little bit of fading on it. But again, you can't really complain about it. I most likely will keep the khaki jacket if it fits me. It is a medium, but it has had the puffer inside of it, so it's gonna be a bit, bit more roomy. But the puffer, I'm probably gonna save until the winter months, and then that's it basically for everything I found. Overall, really good day. Lots of bargains and good come-ups. Of course, most of these will be on my Depop eventually, or you can mess me on my Instagram. It'll be down here, Ryan's Finds, R-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. Really hope you enjoyed the video. As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're at 500 subs now, and we're slowly going up. And then, thanks for watching.